Oh, see that right on the surface! Right on the surface! On the surface, it came out of the water and grabbed it. I hope I was pointing the camera in the right direction. He grabbed it right on the surface. That was incredible. Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. I've been told in previous videos that I didn't really give a good how-to on how to catch rockfish. Well, this is going to be that video. Absolutely amazing, stunning. Tons of info, but there isn't really that much info that you need to know. Number one, rockfish like rocks and kelp. That's for the shallow water ones. Deeper water ones also like rocks. There's not usually kelp when you're fishing the deeper water ones. I'll go back that way, Dale. So look what we're fishing. You fish pretty, you can fish pretty close up against these rocks. They're lined with kelp and uh, we're only at about 35 feet of water catching these suspended uh, black rockfish and we're casting um, like the buzz bomb brand makes them I think I like these Zelda minnows about three four inch baits I think they're about two to three ounces maybe and what you do is these fish, sometimes black rockfish will suspend when they're on bait and they'll be even on the surface. Then you can catch them pretty close to the top. But if they're, if they're not feeding heavily, then you're going to have to get them closer to the bottom. So what we do is we cast out, let our lure sink a bit. And then once you're close to the bottom, you start popping it back towards yourself and jigging it. So you actually give it a little bit of a one to two foot stroke and then let it fall on a taut line. Don't, not a loose line, because you won't feel them bite. They hit like as soon as it starts falling. And if you don't keep that light, you'll miss, you'll, I mean, you don't get that, keep that line tight, you'll miss the bite. So you, you gotta pop it, like my brother is here, watch him. He'll pop it, oh, my dad just got one. Uh -oh. Way off, they usually come off. Oh, you got him on, just real, real. He didn't set the hook, see? Don't, don't be like him, because he didn't even set the hook. Okay, so they come back over and over, so you gotta be ready. I lost him and he kept them coming. You gotta be ready for the fish to bite. That's exactly how it works. So you just cast it out, pop it back, and uh, they usually hit on slack line. If they come off, drop it back down to them, and they'll often hit it again. So he's just giving a little bit of stroke like that, keep it line tight. And, you know, we're really close into the rocks, like 39 feet deep right now. And uh, that's where they are. Okay, so where are we at? Yeah, popping it on the rocks. Color doesn't really matter. You don't need bait. You don't need anything. If you want to save your hands, pinch the barbed trebles because uh, they're hard to get out of these sharp fish. Uh, and if you have the trebles, it usually holds, I mean, you lose a lot. You hook a lot, lose a lot. But, you know, the limits are kind of low, like one to three fish generally. So you don't want to drag a whole bunch of them in anyways. So, so you get your fish. The ones that are most sustainable, like the black rock fish, there's tons of them around. They get the good size. I think I got a couple over here. Oh, my brother's hooked up. Look at that, he's on. My brother is hooked up, he's on. Right like that. We got a few more. I already got my limit, so I'm not fishing anymore. There's a big black rock fish. That's one's probably three and a half pounder. My brother's on right here. I think on that one I, I crimped the barbs because um, yeah, because I was catching a coho on that one. So far, they fight so good. Yeah, they fight great. It's the like blacks, bass. the backs, <laughs> blacks really fight. I know they're like bass. They're good oh, fun. Yeah, That's why Tyson loves this. Oh, it came wow. off. That's why Tyson loves this kind of fishing because it's just steady action. Once you once you find a school now. You know, we fish this, oh, my dad's got one. I just turned around, my dad's got one. That, that's the kind of action we're talking about. One after another. Let's see if he can keep this one on. And uh, keep that rod tension one. on. Oh, no, and uh, get him in. Oh, they like to what do we got? we got? It's another black. I'm telling you, the blacks are the most common when you're fishing Whoa. this method. If you want to catch some of the other species, got yeah, flip them in here. That one we might let go. Huh? Yeah, let them go. We'll get a bigger one. Yeah. yeah. Let them go. Let them grow. These are pretty tough fish, and when you catch them in shallow, they will release fine. You can see his eyes are all in place. His stomach's in his place, and watch how fast he'll take off. Just watch out. They're really sharp. They got spines and quills everywhere, and uh, they aren't gentle, but they take off like a bullet. Watch this. Shoom, oh gone. So we're still filming this amazing show. My brother's gonna get a bite right here really right away. 
just to make this show even more more amazing gotta let it maybe drift down a little bit more yeah so if you're not getting them up on top like sometimes when they feed like I say they'll be right on the surface like that hook there you can actually see them surfacing on the bait but uh, sometimes you'll have to let it sink down you know 15 20 feet uh, for them to grab it we just use a motor we just use the motor to stay in place like just off the rocks don't touch your motor off when you're this close to the rocks because the current and waves will, will push you right into it and then you'll be in a big big mess okay so let's see what else is there that I need to tell them uh, about fishing the rockfish in close on these swale rocks I think that's about it that's all I do and once you have the fish on keep the tension on because they, they find their way to, to get off the hook I don't know how he lets it go slack oh, how to like oh, oh he's a good one slack. crack 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 link he, he slows down he cranks when the fish is pulling hard he's a good one okay get him up here there's kelp there that's a better one there we go nice blackie that's a good one you're one away from your limit Oh, Dallas still is still waiting to land one. They get off because I have the barbless hook for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pink and white up above the rod so you can actually see it. Treble hook. It's got the little rubber bumper. Make sure you check your line because they got sharp teeth and you're jigging in the rocks. It can sometimes get soft. And uh, that's the kind of hook we're using. That's about uh, four inch, three and a half, four, four inch, inches, four, four inch. inch Zelda minnow. Oh, yeah. no, oh, Dad's got another one. Got another one. Oh man, yeah, that's another good one. Dad's yeah, hooked up. I'm on this side. Yeah, you gotta come on. Cast you can over. come on this side. Come, come. I'll sit down here. And you can come right beside me. Oh, there he is. Small guy. Small guy. We'll let that guy go. Yeah. Yeah, they're all different sizes. Some of them get really big, like 10 pounds. But uh, for the main part, like a three to four pounder is a decent keeper. There you go. That's another tip. If there's kelp, try to avoid those big bull kelp. I don't know if you can see in the water there. They are so hard to break off. They're so strong. It's amazing. Dad, cast your line right there. There's no kelp in there. Just don't let it sink too much. Yeah. That's where they like to live. When that spaced bull kelp, they're just schooling down there, hiding under the cover. Oh, see that right on the surface! Right on the surface! On the surface, he came out of the water and grabbed it. I hope I was pointing the camera in the yeah. right direction. He grabbed it right on the surface. That was incredible. Oh man, that was awesome. Yeah, that's a big one. Right out of the kelp. Right in the kelp and grabbed it. That's why we love this rock fishing. Salmon fishing died off. We're on slack tide and the rock fish are hitting. So look at that. Black rock fish. That's how it's done. That's a how-to video. I think it's a wrap. One clip with Dal says he ain't caught one yet. Maybe we'll we'll tune in again when he's yeah, figured nice. out how to do this. We'll give him the other rod. The other rod's nicer. Yeah. And fishing's like he's doubling me, you know. Oh, you're on, a little guy? That's a little one, huh? You got a little guy. Oh no! He's peeling now. Dallas is hooked up. Let's see if he can land his first one. Barbs. If he had barbs, he's blaming the barbless. No, the barbs didn't do anything. Oh, little guy, you gotta let that one go anyways. Okay, Dal, try the pink. Little guy right there. That's the other kind of minnow. That's actually the color I like. I think it's the glow. Yeah. Here, just flip them because you have the hook and it'll just come off because it's barbless. Like that. That's how it's done. Yeah, so that's the other way you can fish for these rockfish. If you're able to stay pretty fairly still, you can just jig, vertically jig on the bottom, and that's how you get the different varieties. The, the blacks like suspending and chasing, but the other ones like vermilions, canaries, um, chinas, there's tons of them, tigers. These ones like staying on the bottom on rocky structure, and if you go get down to them past the blacks, that's when you'll catch those ones. So if you want to catch those other kinds, then you got to be more stationary, vertically jigging up and down, closer within like one to five feet of the bottom I would say that that's my tip for the other varieties of rockfish and sometimes since you're vertically jigging not moving it as much uh, it does help to have some bait on oh he just his uh, hook set wasn't long enough he ran out of room up top well my brother's hooked up he changed the hook and uh, he got him so maybe they don't like the green and white today they like the pink and white that's a decent one yeah. Oh, dad's going. Double header. Real dad. Real. 
Yeah. It's a good one. It might be a red. Well, it might be a red one or a lingcod. Dad, real, 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 real. Don't let him loose. Real, real. Double header. Double header rock fishing. Oh, that's a nice black one. Look at that fish. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's a big one. Don't leave him as a marvelous. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Limit it out. Oh, maybe let it go. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> they pull hard. It's up to you. Dad's got another one. That's a big one. Oh, don't don't lose them. That's got a barbless hook on it. I want a red one. I want a red one. It's another black one. Let him go. That's a big one. That's a good one. Oh, Dell's got one. He's on. He's on. Crank him. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, just real, real, real. Yeah, you got a drag. Said, It'll pull. Should have been stripping drag almost. Yeah. There's yeah. big ones right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, my first one was a good one. Look at that pull. Oh no, these are nice ones. Is he coming up under the boat? Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Look at you guys holding them up for a nice shot, and I'll get a picture. Look at that one, yeah. Oh, you got that one. Beautiful fish, yeah. huh? Catch and release? Yeah. You got, we're out on the ocean, rock fishing. Dallas is hooked up. First kind of introduction to black rock fishing, just like bass. Nice one. Like crazy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Like a big bass. Yeah, yeah there's so no fish. We, there weren't many fish over there. We're just fishing off these swale type rocks. Hold them up here, like a bass, like a bass on the video, Insta video. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, Bassmaster nice. Classic. That's gotta be like three and a half, four pounder. Yeah. 